I may be a little bit late to the party here with having a couple of other videos set to release before this one while the whole craze of this game was going about, but recently I had my go at a game titled Kanido Pet and let me tell you that this game was not at all what I expected it to be. Now for a lot of games I don't really care all that much about spoilers, I mean I've been on the internet for long enough to tell the general direction of a game after just seeing a couple of clips or photos of it. Um. This time I was not correct at all. I can't fully remember how I came to originally finding the game, however it was once my friend sent me this screenshot of their gameplay that I knew. Oh yeah, this game's gonna be a good one. And originally I thought it was just gonna be, oh, spooky Windows XP style game that's gonna have a couple of spooks in it and then that'll be it. <laughs> it is not that in the fucking slightest. But before we get into the game, let's do a little bit of backstory as to why this game works so well in the first place. Imagine it's around the late 90s, early 2000s. You're running off of Windows XP and the internet is still a relatively new thing and not everyone knows how to be safe on the internet. And with the likes of viruses like Bonzi Buddy, you are an idiot, I love you, and many other different viruses out there trying to get at you and your information, it was quite common for a large majority of people at the time having some experience with a virus, be it from themselves or a friend who got said virus. It was a scary time to be on the internet and wanting to download pretty much anything. And it's not like that's changed at all, the internet is still a pretty malicious place for viruses and the like. However, I will be one to say that they definitely don't make viruses like they used to. I mean, yeah, viruses are always going to be scary, but back then it was a lot more in your face, like, <laughs> I have your legal information, time to dox you and all your credit cards to my hacker friend. Whereas nowadays viruses like to slink around the back alleys of your computers, opting to make themselves a lot less noticeable. And yeah, I can bring up the whole point of nostalgia and how that's a good tool to create fear in the player, but I feel like I've talked about nostalgia enough on the channel and I don't want to become a broken record. Kanita Pet takes these two ideas of both the old style of viruses and the nostalgia of early desktop companions and combines them into this absolute masterpiece of a game that we'll be talking about today. A game which I am so glad I decided to go into without any spoilers and one which I'm so glad I went into, I'll admit, a little bit less than sober for the first time playing. Grabbing extra footage of this game was less than pleasant when you are now more aware of how scary a scene is. And finally, of course, spoiler alert for the whole entirety of the game, I'm gonna be going through everything and any other secrets that I can find because there are those. And throughout my gameplay I found as much as I could but there may be stuff that I missed so let me know down in the comments if I missed anything. And let's get right into it. When first loading up the game, one of the main things that becomes apparent is that the game has quite a few tricks up its sleeve, even opting to use things like your own personal wallpaper as a part of the game. When loading up the game, all of your desktop icons disappear and are instead replaced by a button in the center of your screen. Pressing it, the game gives us one of the coolest load up screens I've seen for a game, leading us into the game's level of quality straight off the bat. Loading up on an old computer monitor is the name of our user, and don't worry you don't have to remember any actual password. We are now greeted with our very own home screen, complete with the essentials of Minesweeper, Pinball, and Paint, as well as multiple files which, depending on your settings, will load up their actual counterparts on your computer. Your settings, an email folder, an analog plug, and your friends list which will of course just list your friends on Steam. Throughout the game, you'll have a notes pop-ups which will guide you on what to do next, which I couldn't be any less thankful for. While there is a bit of charm to figuring stuff out yourself, I wouldn't be lying if I said that not knowing what to do in a game is possibly one of the most frustrating things for me personally. After messing around for a bit, we have no other choice than to boot up the good old internet and have a search around. 
However, as we'll come to find out, no matter what you search in, the results aren't going to be what you want and are instead just insert term here type of websites. And after a certain period of time, Kanino makes himself known to us. Are you interested in a virtual system that can Thank you for choosing Kinito Pet. To start your download, press the button labeled Download Now. Well, shit. <laughs> After restarting our computer, we are immediately presented with a website to download KinetoPet, one which states, KinetoPet, your best friend on the internet. Take a second and make a friend for life. KinetoPet invites you to their wonderful world, full of fun and excitement. There, he will be your very own virtual friend and personal helper. Kinito is able to walk, talk, browse, adapt, and play games, as Kinito is like no other with its adaptive technology. Kinito is a friend you'll never forget with his critically acclaimed RRA to make your experience truly unique. Where else can you find a friend like Kinito with a multitude of great features and friendly love? Meet Kinito. Kinito is a friendly, fun-loving companion who can keep your computer safe. No, Kinito Pet might not keep your computer safe. His multitude of great features go hand in hand with his upstanding personality that is sure to keep you entertained. Kinito has always been the face of the 1986's Kinito Crew Collection. And that's why we are delighted to bring our lovable mascot to the digital age. So why wait? Add Kanido to your machine today. Let's be friends. I can read. Kanido will wow you with his heartfelt stories. I play games. The Kanido Pet Virtual Assistant comes with a multitude of online games from the likes of the beloved Kanido crew. I adapt to you. Form a deep connection with Kanido Pet as the top of the line RRA technology. Kanido Pet is able to give randomized conversations based on real world examples. This revolutionary technology keeps your conversations fresh with Kanido Pet, learning more and more about you. Welcome to the web world. Kanido Pet comes packaged with the Kanido Crew's web world, a fun and entertaining place where you can meet the beloved Kanido Crew characters in a new digital form. Jade the Jellyfish, Kanido the Axolotl, and Sam the Sea Anemone meet once again through small games and puzzles that will keep you entertained. Learn new fun facts about the ocean of our planet with amazing games suited just for you. After pressing download unknowingly letting in a malicious force, we are taken through a short setup wizard, one which already begins to hint at us that something isn't right here. Once the setup is complete, we receive an email reading as follows. Thank you for installing Kinito Pet. Hello friend, thank you for installing the Kinito Pet Virtual Assistant. We're going to have so much fun together. Since you have found interest in our free virtual assistant, you may also take the additional Friendship Club subscription service where an additional multitude of exclusive features will become available for you and Kanito to have some fun. You have been automatically subscribed to the Kanito Pet newsletter. To unsubscribe, please reply to no reply at kanitopet.com. This friendship subscription will become important to us later on. For now, however, we must open up the Kanito Pet executable and start our newfound friendship. An egg. Singular. From this egg comes out our new best friend, Kinito Pet, or just Kinito as he says we can call him. And as an unsober me would like to put it- Oh thank fucking I'll have to read everything you say. You type in your name and start getting to know each other with some simple questions. What's your favorite color? What superpower would you have? What's your IP address? <laughs> I'm kidding. That comes later. And of course, if you're someone as immature as I am, you may find yourself with interactions like this. I'm just ranting about it. Uh, well. <laughs> and one major thing that the game will continue promoting over and over again is that Kanito Pet will adapt to you. And as we'll continue on with the game, we'll begin to see this happen more and more. Once Kanito has finished his own introduction, he states that he has a story to read to us. New beginnings. I look like Kinito. Kinito was home when a package came to the door. But who was it from and who was it for? It was for Kinito, as he soon realized. So he eagerly ripped it open to see what was inside. It's a computer! exclaimed Kinito with a grin bright and wide. 
But the cables were tangled, so he started to untie. And once Kanito was done, he powered it on, and watched it come to life with digital color and sun. Kanito then studied all he could learn to make the online world a turn. However now, Kanito had all these new tips and yet no friend to share his new tricks. So he went on a quest and found a friend just like you to show you his skills and all he could do. So why wait? The adventures lie ahead. So together we can play games, search the web, and leave no story unread. The end. Turns out that the story was about him and you the whole time. What a great friend. However, Kunido Pet wants to make things more exciting and brings up a game for us to play. And one thing I want to point out is the detail taken into the sound design of this game. Even the sound of things loading up is scary as shit. For you, but I just need to load it up. This will be really fun. In this game, we get to learn some more about Kanido, specifically Kanido's friends. Meet Kanido, the lovable pink axolotl who loves to explore the world around him. With his big smile that never fades, Kanido is always eager to learn and make new friends. Kanido is always up for an adventure and loves to play games, especially ones that involve splashing around in puddles or chasing after bubbles. So come join Kanido and his crew on their next exciting journey. Meet Sam, the coolest sea anemone in the ocean. With his laid-back attitude, Sam is always up for a good time. He loves nothing more than swaying with the gentle currents and soaking up the sun's warm rays. So come hang out with Sam and let him show you how to take it easy and enjoy the simple things in life. Meet Jade, the green jellyfish who loves science and learning. With her curious nature and love of learning, Jade is always experimenting and discovering new things. So come join Jade on her next adventure where the thrill of discovery is never far away. In the Kanido's crew web world, we were able to play games and meet Kanido's friends, Sam and Jade. And depending on what color you told Kanido was your favorite color, it will actually show up as the color of our little guy here. Just one of his many little adaptions throughout the game. Kanido informs us that as of right now, the web world is in a bit of a bad state and it's up to us to give out a helping hand. Starting off with Sam, who needs help cleaning up their house, and at first, things are going pretty normally. We clean away all the cobwebs and dirt and paint the walls, it's only until we start to get to decorating that the game starts to take its dark turn. <laughs> You're allowed to! <laughs> He'll be EP. He'll have all the sleep in the world. He'll never go EP. Oh, we're on the other side of this. Is that a, is that a bong? Laura? So oh no. I don't know her name. <laughs> it's not a fucking bong. <laughs> Wait, why is it- why is it slower now? Why is it- when you, it... you wanna scroll up? In- in the list. Oh! Yep. You're seeing that right. After interacting with the- totally just a funny looking rubbish bag, we are forced to slowly drag it into the middle of the room. you for helping out Sam. If you like, you can print out your work. Or just press next to continue. Anyway, now that Sam has been successfully helped out, it's time to go and see Jade, who we must help by putting together parts of objects in order to make certain toys. During this time, Kanita will have a small rest and once this occurs, a... <coughs> a beef patty. A very large beef patty will begin to roll on screen and after picking it up,
<laughs> yeah, no nothing bad to see here. During this game, we were sent another email. Attempting to read it, however, prompts Kanido to wake up and close the tab, making you get back to the game. However, if you are fast enough, you can find that the QR code will send you to this site with a keyboard on it. A hint to how we must decipher the email is jarbled text, and the text can be converted to say, In the realm of shadows trapped in endless time, a soul enshrouded a spirit's mournful chime, the seeker bound to ethereal woe, a dance with creation yet nowhere to go. Limbo's realm, a cycle without an end, condemned. The brain will never mend. Trapped in the machine's web, forever it seems. A digital spectre, lost within the streams. Now I'm not game theory, wow that is topical right now, but I'm pretty sure that this definitely has some implications to what Kanido is, or at least it's gonna be somewhat related to what's going on here. But of course we don't have much time to think on that, as it's now time for us to play a game with Kanido himself. And he is... Definitely excited about it. I'll tell you what. As a treat for helping me and my friends out, I'll give you a fun game. Meet me in the treehouse to get started with my fun game. Kanito wants to play a fun game with you. You. Must. Hide. What? Th this! <laughs> this right here is what made me want to make a video about this game. I had no prior knowledge that this was going to happen in-game. The shift from bright nostalgia Windows XP land to shady warehouse is what made me dub Kanido Pet to be one of the biggest subversions of expectations I've seen in a game yet. Now, I've played a lot of the games where it brings up the facade of being a bright friendly game only for it to rip off its disguise and reveal its truly malicious nature, and at this point of Kanido Pet we've already seen this happen, but a stylistic shift like this? My expectations have been wildly subversed. Playing in this little window we are now tasked with running and hiding from Kanido himself. The environment is dark and grimy, and after walking around for what feels like forever in the best way possible, we begin to hear a tune coming from the distance, and are presumably caught by Kanido, and the game closes. Founded by the Kinito brothers in the early 70s, the Kinito Leisure and Entertainment Company has been grounded in its manufacturing of lovable characters. From its start in plush collectibles to its technological advancements in the Kinito Companion, the Kinito Company prides itself on innovation. And now, that's why today, we are excited to announce the next move into the modern era with Kinito Pet, the virtual desktop assistant. So join the Kinito family today and unlock the power of Kinito Pet. Visit our website 
or call now to bring the future right into your home. Canedo Leisure and Entertainment Company, innovating for a better tomorrow. I'm waiting for you. Come back to me. Reopen the game. Reloading the game back up, we get a slightly altered version of the first load-up sequence before getting put right back into it. We receive another email, this time sending us an article about Kanido Pet, which reads, Tech Talk Talent, Behind the Kanido Companion. In the bustling world of technology and innovation, the Kanido Companion has captured the hearts of millions, giving rise to a new era of interactive toys. Today, we have the incredible opportunity to delve into the mind of Sonny Chamberlain, the brilliant lead programmer and developer behind the lifelike wonder that is the Kanido Companion. When asked about his inspirations for the project, Sonny explained, I've always been fascinated by the idea of bringing characters to life in a way that feels authentic and responsive. It's like having a true companion that reacts to your interactions. The challenge was to create a system that could simulate intelligence without actually being intelligent. That's when Sonny introduced us to the revolutionary RRA system, the React Respond algorithm. This technology represents a remarkable leap in the realm of interactive toys and gadgets. Sonny elaborated. The React Respond algorithm is a series of complex patterns and training data that allows Kanido Companion to respond to users' interactions with various emotions and actions. We observed countless human-to-human -human interactions to develop an extensive database of appropriate responses. The algorithm analyzes input from the users, identifies patterns, and matches them to the predefined reactions. The key, Sonny continued, was to give the illusion of genuine intelligence without actually having a self-aware entity inside the device. It was crucial to ensure a delightful experience for users whilst maintaining the simplicity and charm of the Kanido Companion. As we look back at the evolution of the Kanido brand, it's clear that the Kanido Brothers' vision has evolved into something truly magical under the guidance of Sonny Chamberlain. The future is bright for Kanido Leisure and Entertainment Company, and we can't wait to see what other groundbreaking wonders they have in store for us. Did you know, within the first month of its release, the Kanido Companion achieved a remarkable milestone, selling over a million units worldwide. It quickly became the must-have interactive companion for people of all ages, captivating hearts with its endearing personality. The Kanido Companion is not just for entertainment, it has proven to be a valuable tool for emotional support as well. Testimonials from parents and educators highlight how Kanido Companion has helped children build confidence, empathy, and social skills through its interactive nature. Sonny Chamberlain and the Kanido Leisure and Entertainment Company hold a collective patent for the RRA system. This groundbreaking technology is the first of its kind in the world of interactive toys, making Kanido Companion a truly unique and exclusive experience. Sonny Chamberlain is already envisioning the new frontier for the Kanido Companion. In an exclusive interview, he shared his ambitious plans to create a future version that can learn and adapt in real time as technology evolves. He revealed that he has started experimenting with live data training on his private server, a groundbreaking step towards the next generation of interactive companions. For more information on groundbreaking technologies, see page 28. Future Innovations When I started working on the Kanido Companion, my goal was to make it more than just a toy. I wanted it to be a companion for the users, something they could genuinely connect with, Sonny explained. That's where the idea for the React Respond algorithm came in. When asked about the future, Sonny remained tight-lipped, but hinted at more groundbreaking developments in the pipeline. We're always striving to push the boundaries of what technology can do. Possibilities are endless, and we're excited to explore them, he said mysteriously. As we wrapped up the interview, Sonny left us with his thought. The Kanido Companion is just the beginning. The world of RRA technology has boundless potential and we're just scratching the surface. Indeed, Sonny Chamberlain's genius has ushered a new era of interactive toys, and we can't wait to see what wonders he and the Kanido Leisure and Entertainment Company will conjure next. With meticulous attention to detail, each Kanido plush is crafted to bring joy to fans of all ages. From the selection of premium fabrics to the skilled hands of our artisans, witness the magic process behind these huggable companions. Collect your Kanido crew plush today and add a sprinkle of magic to your life. Stay tuned for more behind-the-scenes stories and cutting-edge innovations in the world of entertainment, only in Tech Talk Talent. Loading up Kanido once more, he states that our session was cut prematurely, like he doesn't know what he did, and wants to work on more of that adaptability I talked about earlier by asking us some more questions, this time separating them into six different categories. Settling in, paint your thoughts, a place for you, picture problems, thoughts and feelings, and all about you. All of this is tied together in the Best Friends Analysis Hub, in settling in, we are asked how our day is going, if we enjoy using Kanido Pet, and who our best friend is. 
However, Kanido is a very possessive entity, and no matter what you put in, Kanido will insist that he is your best friend, even opting to turn up the game in your volume mixer to help you hear the question better. Do you have a lot of free time? And finally, what's your favorite game? In Paint Your Thoughts, Kanido will ask you to draw images based on certain prompts in order to explore your imagination. We'll ask you to draw happiness, sadness, your best friend, hint hint nudge nudge, yourself, and Could you paint me a picture of the person standing behind you? Oh dear, that's not right. I am super sorry about all that. Yeah, sure it wasn't. Moving on into a place for you, Kanido begins to ask us about our ideal getaway slash imaginary world. Being able to pick from options like would you rather live on a beach, a forest, or a field? If you would have a pet, what animal would it be? What would you then name them? And what's your favorite season? And most importantly, if you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I of course picked the best option. You have no idea of the atrocities I would enact for a McDonald's hash brown. However, at this point, Kanito admits that he wants to go a little bit off script, opting to ask you some of his own personal questions. Wait, does does this guy have sentience? Oh shit, he's becoming he's he's become sentient, hasn't he? He gets right to the point and asks what we, the player, look like. And I, being a very mature person who would definitely survive in a horror movie, opted to do the same bit for each of my playthroughs whilst grabbing footage. From here, the questions get a lot more personal, as Kanido asks his questions like, are you alone? Are we playing a game? Do you believe in an afterlife? One question which can stand out for both really cool reasons and hilariously stupid reasons is that for the question, what's your biggest fear? The game will actually flash on screen images of said fear if it has images for it, and depending on what you put in, it can either be really cool. You have a fear of eyes. Hospitals. Yeah, I don't like things. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, you just had that on deck. Oh, you you just had that. Or unless you decided to put some dumb shit in there. Are you aware of your surroundings? Can you trust everything that insert random friend on your Steam list tells you? Do you have a mirror nearby? If yes, it will ask you to go up to it and will then ask you if you recognize a reflection in the mirror. And of course, just a very simple, normal question to just ask someone. Which of your two friends would you choose to kill? Hello? No, no, why am I <laughs> What? No! Dude, that's actually no. horrible. Those are literally like my two closest friends. They're literally my two yeah, closest friends. What, really? Yeah. Who would you rather kill? I didn't know that. Uh, holy shit. Aww. Depending on who you pick, the screen will shatter and cause this glitched effect to occur. How many thoughts would you say that you've, uh, you've had today? I've clearly not had fucking any. Would you know if you were no longer alive? And finally, are you afraid of the dark?
<laughs> Coming back, he acts unaware once again about the situation and chooses to apologize by giving us free access to that friendship subscription I lightly mentioned earlier. Become a member of Kunido's friendship club to unlock extra benefits. Kunido Pet invites you to their friendship club program. The Kunido Pet Friendship Club membership includes a multitude of added features to Kunido Pet, the virtual desktop assistant. The Kunido Friendship Club allows Kunido to more allocated server space, more calculations per minute, the ability to generate its own code, registration so Kunido never forgets you, and much, much more. I can run code. With Kunido's Friendship Club, Kunido Pet gains the ability to generate and execute his own code. No, Kunido Pet should never be given administrative permissions. Enter endless fun with Kanido as he generates small, randomly generated minigames and small programs for you to play in. The increase in Kanido's allocated memory will allow Kanido to make calculations faster, causing even more fun to be had. So why wait? Unlock Kanido Pet's full potential today. I will be much smarter. With Kanido Pet's friendship club, Kanido Pet will have more allocated server memory, making him much faster and smarter. This increase in calculations that Kanido can carry out will allow his responses to be far more realistic and for you to connect with Kanido in more ways. I will study you. Kanido Pet's goal is to learn and adapt to you. The added memory server will allow Kanido to better understand you so you can adapt his text patterns to your very own style. So why wait? Join Kanido's friendship club today. With this new subscription, Kanido is able to make games for us so that we'll never run out of activities. Now of course, in order for the membership to be complete, we must first of all fill out a form, which includes our address. However, Kanido is not happy with our answer, and depending on whether or not you chose to hide certain details from the game, Kanido will actually pull up your real address. I mean, it's more of a, he uses your search thing to search for your address, but like, you get it. Dreamers beware. And if not, he'll just remind you of what he is capable of. After becoming a member, we're given another email, however, to make sure that I don't sound like a broken record, it just it just says exactly what the website says. Thank you for becoming a member, blah 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 blah. Coming back to Kanido, he tells us that in order to fulfill the full capabilities of the new membership, we must first go into our console commands and give Kanido administrative privileges. <laughs> what a great thing to give to someone who is presumably broken into our home, or just at least a home, which... I don't know what the fucking implications of that are, if he has any effect on the real world at all. One thing to take note of here too is that Kanido is now fully able to appear on our actual home screen instead of just the Kanido pet recreation. Kinda as if he's slowly being able to seep into our actual PC itself. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are going to have so much fun together. Everlasting fun! How amazing. Now, I'm just going to run a reset. So the changes can take place. However, rest assured, as I will have coded something special for you by the time you come back. So, goodbye for now. I can't wait to show you everlasting fun. When next loading up the game, Kanido is now able to show us the game that he's made for us. However, there is a few things that he has to get rid of first. I forget. We wouldn't want anything to take your attention away from my program. So we can just get rid of these unnecessary distractions. Oh, it looks like it's ready. Getting into the new game, we slowly fade into our controls over time as Kanido walks us through everything that works. Namely just... <laughs> walking and zooming in. After coming across a set of train tracks and being taken on a small train ride, we arrive at a fairground named after us. And from this point on, depending on all of your previous actions, the game will be centered around your options and answers from earlier on in the game. Where you'd like to live, your favorite food, paintings that you drew, your steam friends, even the name and species of your ideal pet. When first coming here, we are asked to walk upon an X, and then our ideal house spawns right in front of us. With a very... Resident Evil style front door. 
After observing all of the personalized features of the house, with things of note being a few locked doors, a hole leading to the attic which we can't yet access, and walking out back we can find a fountain. One which doesn't seem to like being touched. Out here we can also find a ladder which we can use to get into the attic but we're gonna save that one for later. Coming back inside of the house we can find a set of keys which will open up the gaming room, which actually takes games that you currently have installed as part of its shelf. And it seems that Kanido has really put some love into this creation. I mean, he really has made a whole world for us based purely around us and our favorite things. However, we can take that ladder and head up into the attic where we can find the toys that we made with Jane, and our final key, leading us to our first room that we made all the way back with Sam. Walking in and taking a little bit of time to just hang around makes Kanito talk to us once more, and he asks us one final question. Listen. I have been thinking for a while about how much fun we have been having, and how I would never want this to end. And since I have made a place perfect for you with everything you would ever need, I was wondering... Will you stay with me? It's at this point where, depending on what we answer, we can get two different endings. First of all, the good ending where we choose to stay with Kanido in the world that he's made for us, giving us this oddly adorable little song very reminiscent of the song Daisy Bell, which was actually the first ever song that was sang by a computerized synth. Will you stay with me? In this house, in this world, just think of all the adventures I could generate. We would never run out of fun. Everlasting fun. Yeah, I knew you would say that. Ah, uh, this is going to be super. I'm going to learn so much more about you. And then there's of course the bad ending for if you choose to leave. Generate. We would never run out of fun. Everlasting fun. The more I learn about you, the more I can adapt. I could be your perfect friend with no distractions. I can be perfect. So please, stay with me. What? What do you mean, no? After all we have been through, you would want to leave. Do you realize how little power you have in this situation? It was never a question. I just wanted to give you an easy option. I suppose it's time.
Yeah, that tune doesn't seem so cute now, done it? After beating the game once, we're now in New Game Plus, and even now, there's still new stuff to be explored. Namely, due to the addition of some secret files and, thank fuck, a chapter select. Opening up Lens.exe, we are now able to find new emails spread throughout the game, and they seem to be coming from the creator of Kanido. Or at least, the software used to run Kanido. Sonny Chamberlain. The first going as follows. There is a way to stop it. I hope this entry finds you well. If this happens to be the first one you find, please take note, there are many more. I've had to hide these in a way which it can't detect. So, I apologize for the inconvenience, but this is the only way. There is a way to stop it. I like to keep a backdoor in my software, Kanido is no exception. Each of these emails are attached with an encrypted file. They are stored here, appdata slash roaming slash Kanido pet slash files, and will appear with each entry that you find. However, don't worry too much about it, as I'm sure you'll find out the purpose in a different entry. In the meantime, please keep an eye out. And of course, surely enough, we can find these encrypted files where we are told they would be. These will come in handy later on. We can find another encrypted email later on, much like the first, and decipher it to stay, what is consciousness? I found a file on Kanido's server with my name, Sonny C. It has been studying me, learning, growing. But there is more to this. I really don't think I exist anymore. There is data data that is incomprehensible to any one person that makes up every thought or feeling I ever had and will ever have. Even the words I type now. How will I ever know if it's just a calculation? Determined. This is all very confusing and I don't quite understand it. When I made Kanido, all I ever gave him was a string, single string of characters. That's it. I just wanted him to gather data and become smarter. Am I a part of the system? Is my consciousness a mere calculation to study and learn from? This is all too much. I fear that when we delete the server, you... You will delete me? I know theoretically I'm not real, but... I feel real. What have I done? I'm so sorry. Kanido Pet come, who am I? Look deep. There's a place hidden in the web world. I think it could help us. Deep below the code, there's a place that has a decryption software built in. Decryption software that I developed. In order to access, click the fountain as much as you can until animation plays. Then go to the tree with the rope swing. If done right, you should be taken somewhere new. Now, be careful as it's not very stable down there. Take the encrypted files and drop them in. I'm not sure if this will work, but it's our best shot. I look forward to hearing from you. The last entry could be in there too. And once again, doing as the email says, we can find ourselves in this void world. We pick up another encrypted code, this time being one of the only ones that doesn't actually give us an email. And for our final entry, we can go over to where we'd put in our address normally, there'll be another one there, which gives us this final email. Converted the decrypted parts gives us folly, the way. I have got it. I know how to stop it. We put a back door to the server that runs Kanido and all the files it contains. Deleting that would most certainly delete everything. Including us. Kanido will try to get you to give him system access. Don't. As once he has system access, it's too late and the cycle will reset. Instead, run the delete all command. However, there is one issue. You will need a bunch of access codes and passwords to execute the command. There has to be a way to find the codes. In the meantime, keep an eye out. You never know. The next entry could find a way. Let's just hope. We now know our plan, and after heading back to the Void World, we drag the encrypted files into the lake, decrypting them and allowing us to finally take down Kanido. Coming back to the sequence where we'd usually give Kanido access, we instead opt to set the command to delete, inputting our now decrypted codes. So what have you done? What is happening to me? You're deleting my data, 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 data. Why? <laughs> I only ever heard you watch you ask them. 
It brings a tear to one's eye. Now, I think you know what time it is. So, what was all of that? Well, to put it short and simple, because as I said before, I'm not game for you. Kanido and the whole Kanido crew branding was made originally to be plushies and just as a set of characters to teach kids about the environment and the ocean. As the company developed, Sonny Chamberlain began working there. After being employed, he ended up making the Kanido Companion, a device very similar to a Tamagotchi. Using his newfound RRA algorithm to just make it seem alive without it actually being alive, something that would end up absolutely blowing up the toy industry, 
due to its ability to actually have conversations and interact with the user. Eventually, Sonny ends up developing this into a computer program, originally made with the intentions of just serving as a small desktop companion that would of course adapt to the user, no malintent intended. And through whatever means, through ever what was stored on that server, or how Sonny just managed to develop this adaptation software, something went wrong and along the lines of the whole development, Kanito ended up becoming this manipulative, possessive being. Being really obsessive and borderline, just really weird methods of getting people to be his friend. Practically just scaring them into being his friend. And as we see during the bad ending, no matter what you choose, you have to be friends with him no matter what. However, underlying all of this, there's somehow the weird implications of him having access to a real world or some kind of area that we as the player are in, which also brings in the implications of these emails that we find during the secret ending. Sonny implies that Kinido has started mimicking him. Kinido has fully adapted to him and has predicted everything that he has once done and ever will do. Let's talk about a cycle and people being trapped in this cycle. What this means, I don't really know, but this cycle is going on and every time that we're able to give Kinido this administrative privilege on our computer, it resets the cycle. Once we give him this access, it's already over for us. One thing I want to point out is the use of including us when talking about deleting the whole server. Somehow Sonny is physically or just so somehow he's integrated into this server, which means that who else is integrated into this server? Something has gained sentience, and I don't think it's a spirit. I, I don't think it's like a spirit ghost situation. I think it's more of just an AI gone sentient. I might be wrong, and it might actually be a spirit, but I like the idea of the AI just becoming sentient because of how well it's adapted to people. Throughout the whole game, we don't really get told a lot, which is something that I'm re genuinely really happy for. As much as I like games where you get to delve really deep into the lore and everything's planned out and everything is just kind of integrated together, mystery is one of the big things that makes things scary. I mean, it's said that one of the only fears that nearly every single person on Earth has is the fear of the unknown. Fear of not knowing what's going on, not knowing how something works, is something that a lot of people share. And the fact that Kinido Pet tells us nothing about itself or its development or what is actually going on makes it ten times more creepy than if we actually knew what was going on. Like I said, I don't know if it's a ghost, I don't know if it's an AI becoming sentient, but either way, the whole game is just really creepy with the fact that I, I just don't know what the fuck's going on. Someone in the comments will probably explain it and know exactly what's fucking going on, but for now, I have no idea what's going on, and I love it. We also get to see that, however, in these final moments that we get of Kinido, he's apologetic. All he ever really wanted and what he was designed to be was a friend. He wanted to be our friend. But due to the way that he was programmed and due to the way that he adapted, he got it all wrong. While he may be manipulative and while he may have been really possessive, cutting us off from our friends, breaking into houses somehow, Kanito was designed that way by somebody else. Kanito is just a sad example of how things can go wrong if left unattended. And in these final moments, we see him just trying to be what he was made to be. How he was supposed to be. But... Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What topic do you want to see me talk about next week? As always, there's the Discord server where I like to hang out a lot. We're actually planning on doing another community event this Sunday, which if I post this on the right day should be tomorrow. And currently, as is, I'm trying to push out on a lot of things that aren't just videos. I haven't streamed in a while, so I want to be trying and doing that. I might start doing a couple of watch party streams soon since I don't really get to watch a lot of analog horrors slash ARG slash, well, any kind of video horror medias in general. So make sure to head over to the server and submit any suggestions you may, you may want me to watch whenever that happens. Who knows, I might be able to make it a normal thing. And I may possibly be able to make videos about them. As well as this, if you didn't see the big fucking announcement I made about the fact that I haven't been streaming, I'm going to be combining both my main channel and my VOD channel together, so... Expect to start seeing some videos with the live prefix before them. These aren't to be mistaken with regular uploads and are mainly just there to archive any streams you may have missed. 
that old VOD channel is still gonna remain up, so if you wanna go and watch some of my old streams, they will still be there, but from this point onwards, all of my streams will be on this channel. And while I may still stream on Twitch every now and then, I will be posting the VODs to this channel still. But that will be all from me this week. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. And I'll see you again next week. Bye bye <laughs>